Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. Today's video is a viewer request who reached out on Instagram asking me to cover business meals and entertainment expenses. Thank you so much for your request. If you are a subscriber and you are searching my channel for a video you don't see, do not be afraid to reach out. I actually get asked a lot about business meals and entertainment expenses. Recently, the IRS changed their guidelines on this. For 2021 and 2022 only, businesses can generally deduct the full cost of business-related food and beverages purchased from a restaurant. Otherwise, the limit is about 50% of the cost of the meal. The most important thing when deducting expenses like this one are receipts. You must always keep your meal and entertainment receipts. Also, not just the credit card slip you get, but you need the itemized copy. This video is the accountant slash bookkeeper view for my fellow home bookkeepers. So if you are a business owner, check out the business owner view video to get a better understanding of what it will look like on your side of QuickBooks Online. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. First things first, you'll want to create your meals and entertainment account in your chart of accounts. Select expense as this is an expense transaction. This looks different from some of my previous videos if you can tell. The one bittersweet thing about QuickBooks Online is that they are able to update much more frequently and without notice compared to the desktop version. With desktop, you have to purchase the update software and manually perform the update yourself. This could be an annual practice with desktop, but with QuickBooks Online being a cloud-based program, they are able to stay more compliant with the updated IRS policies and best practices. Though QBO is here to help you stay compliant, it does mean that it is ever evolving and it's like a little ecosystem. So this is what the new account screen looks like when creating an account. Go ahead and select the account type, tax form section, and name the account like you normally would. What I do like about this is that it gives you a little P&L preview. And once you're finished, click the green save button. Now you are able to head over to your transactions and categorize your meal transaction with the new account you just created. I really hope this helps, and if you have any further questions, just leave them in the comments below. For more business resources, my online, self-paced, home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.